Hello everyone, today I am going to showcase how to generate 3D model like this one that you see uh, by starting from a, a single image using the latest version of VistaSculpt 0.7.1. Before we uh, do that, I want to first showcase the uh, uh, update the, and the quality in, uh, improvement that we have made uh, through our uh, several update and as you can see here this is the uh, uh, image that we generated and it looks phenomenal very very accurate to the input image um, now I have here also the 0.5.1 version and uh, we can see some difference in, in quality especially um, by starting from the edges around the frame those are nowhere near perfect as the 0.7.1 keep in mind those are being generated using the same um, you know same uh, settings essentially and uh, you can see that the frame is much much more accurate it's straight it's very nice and smooth but here unfortunately it's not quite good as the um, 0.7.1 which is expected because this is the uh, oldest uh, depth algorithm that we were using we updated it and now the quality is improved by you know a significant amount uh, also if you tilt the image on the side you can see that some area are exceeding the frame boundary which is not correct uh, because if you look here uh, none of the uh, frame uh, not sorry none of the image are exceeding the boundary it's very nice and precise uh, just like the image uh, basically and if we also zoom on the 3d model we can see that everything across the board has improved you know here it's very nice the detail are precise and pristine uh, unfortunately here it's not the same in some area we can see like here on the neck a little bit of uh, you know uh, bumpiness um, below the uh, eyes a little bit of noisier but if we see on the 0.7.1 it's very very good it looks much better and so overall you can expect a significant amount of improvement in the depth generation which by the way right now this is the greatest um, uh, you know software that can achieve this type of result no other software can achieve anything remotely close to uh, what VistaSculpt can do um, and keep in mind you can test the software for free you can download the demo and decide if you like what you see before you go ahead and purchase any plan. Now let's see how we can generate uh, a new 3D model by starting from scratch. Uh, you can obviously upload your image uh, or you can also generate image. Thank you to the new uh, update, the 0.6 actually. This was introduced into 0.6. You can now generate image like the one that you see here. Uh, directly into the software it produces extremely high quality image that you can then translate into the 3d model um, and we can go ahead and generate uh, an image uh, right now for example uh, we can make something very hilarious or something very serious I mean obviously it depends on the application or what uh, you're looking for um, it's very accurate and it tries its best to produce what you ask for for example we can say a dog, uh, actually let's do a cat eating an ice cream, uh, sorry, ice cream while hearing music. Let's see what will we get. Okay, that looks very good, but not so happy with the result. We have this pencil here, which I mean, we can easily remove, but we can probably do better. Let's try another generation and let's see if we get a better result. Okay, this looks much, much better. Love this. Okay, 
so we can export the image if we want to but uh, i don't need in this case uh, here you can select obviously the resolution there is three resolution supported right now and uh, for the image generation you get 200 credit each month if you are a pro user um, and each generation costs about two credit each for the thousand by thousand resolution else it costs three credits for a uh, bigger resolution but in this case uh, it's a thousand by thousand which is about a hundred image if you only generate a thousand by thousand so uh, let's apply this and i'm gonna make a, a, a quick changes here because we have a frame and i don't really want it because we have integrated our own frame generation which is in early development it's the first stadium of you know the free stage sorry i should say and uh it will get better in the you know future but as now we can already generate frame so i am gonna try we can do this yeah i can cut the air a little bit no big issue um just like that i'm gonna apply and did i flip it i want to flip it like this it looks a little bit i don't know nicer and apply this um so for the depth scale i'm going to stay about three because i don't want to be too thick we can obviously adjust later on for the detail scale um for the detail scale essentially uh, you want to increase this if you want to get more uh you know engraved details uh but you have to be careful if there is too much shadows in some area like in this case there isn't any shadow but some image might have a lot of shadows so you have to be careful there because shadows uh, are hard to you know interpret in terms of details and the software might get confused there so it depends on your image you might want to uh, you know change this that scale and the detail scale usually i stay about 70 to 80 in this case 100 percent should look fine because the image is nice and clear and it should be very good uh, smoothing by default it adds 10 percent of smoothing i will reduce uh, a little bit because usually you want to increase the smoothing when you also increase the depth scale um because otherwise it will create some you know edges a little you know weird so you want to add some smoothing if you increase the depth but because we're gonna stay on a very low depth uh, i don't want to be too thick i'm gonna remove some smoothing i'm gonna stay about five that's perfect uh ultra quality generate and it will take about five six minutes it, it depends about your uh, computer and we'll catch you later when it's finished okay that's the result looking fantastic i love it great result actually very nice it did very very well especially here on the mustache not noises nothing usually the old version would have created a little bit of uh you know edges uh a little bit of noise around those edges but here it it looks perfect it looks pretty much perfect like it the result is very solid um so what we can do now if we want to create a frame we can just use the frame option or if you don't want to create a frame but maybe you want to solidify this you know create the edges around here you can use the solidify option and it will essentially create the structure around the edges and in the boundary of the 3d model so you can have a solid pieces like this one or if you want to create a frame you can use the frame option before we create the frame option um i noticed something let me uh use the toggle bounding box essentially here we have the feet that are a little bit higher than the upper area area here so i mean that's normal because the feet are closer to the camera so the software did very well here but we can fix this if we have like uh, for example a limited thickness if we want to i don't know cnc cnc machine this uh engrave this and we have a limited thickness we can use the depth optimization uh, like 30 40 percent and we should expect 
this area to be optimized like it did so perfect very very fast and yeah that's a huge improvement because we don't have this area exp you know you know going to outside the boundary uh, so we can create the frame now if we want um, we can create something for example thickness 20 and the angle 100 this is will create you know the side angles like this and I will generate so you can understand what uh, I'm talking about so that's the result looking good but I'm not satisfied because here uh, we have this area which is not fully being covered and it's creating this gap which we can remove so i'm going to revert this and create a new frame and the inner offset um, i'm going to increase the inner offset by 200 um, which will essentially make the frame going a little bit more inside and it should be enough to cover this area which it's the case that's good we can actually do uh, a different trick as well we can remove the frame and i'm going to show a case so we can use the same inner offset but we can move the frame a little bit above since the issue was only here um, we can move the frame uh, like 10 pixels above and it should start a little bit higher and it should fix this issue that's good so yeah looking good actually we can create another small edges here using inner offset 0 and thickness 10 create a little bit of solidification around looks good perfect very very very, very good very fast also uh, because you know it only took about six minutes to generate this extremely good looking 3d model and keep in mind we didn't add any image we created this inside the vista scooped uh, software um, so yeah looking very good obviously you can resize the model here if you have a specific um, you know dimension that we you want to respect you have the option here to see the uh, you know the x and y's and z dimension and then you can export the 3d model uh, you can export as depth map stl pli it depends what you need i'm gonna choose stl and i'm gonna call it just 3d model very basic save it and it is the final result inside the uh, windows 3d viewer looking very nice very happy with the result and i hope you like to so uh if you learned something i'm very happy again uh give a shot to visa sculpt it's easy and it's actually free if you just want to mess around with the software and if you like it you can uh, get yourself a license and start creating awesome 3d model and I hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you in the next one.